Alright, I've got the Radio Link A560 Trainer 3D Play now. Again, I have taken this out with me, and no matter what else I'm taking out, I have taken out this A560 the last four or five flight sessions that I've had. And um, I named this one Lesson Number One Performing a Hover. And I'm a novice with 3D planes. I'm having an absolute blast with this 3D trainer. I know there's got to be other novices out there, you know, with 3D planes. So whenever I discover something that has really helped me out in flying a 3D plane, I'll, I will publish it, a uh, video, as a lesson. So normally what I would do when I was trying to hover the plane it, is I would get it into a vertical position you know, I would gas it up, get it to a vertical position, and then on the transmitter, I would try and find my throttle setting to where, you know, it would stay at a level altitude, at a stable altitude, where it wasn't climbing and it wasn't descending, and that's kind of hard to do. What I, what I found was, doing that, the plane would really, it would really drift all over the place. You know, it, it would want to fall over whenever I did that, so... The last time I had it out, I was really determined that I was going to improve my hovering skills. So, and just through trial and error, I was just trying different things to see if I could improve my, my ability to hover the plane. And so what I discovered was on the transmitter, rather than trying to hold the throttle at a specific position to maintain the altitude on the plane, I discovered that if I pulsed the throttle, you know, up and down, that helped keep the plane in a vertical position without it drifting all over the place. I don't know, I don't know why that is, other than it, it's almost imperceptible if you're hitting the throttle right when you're pulsing it. I'm sure that the plane is rising and falling ever so much. I can't tell it. You know, when I'm watching it, but I'm sure of pulsing the motor like that it is rising and falling ever so slightly. And I think that that motion helps keep the, the plane pointed completely vertically instead of having it drift all over the place. So, anyway, I'm, I'm trying all kinds of different things with this plane whenever I take it out. Um, I'm practicing with different maneuvers and trying to perfect different maneuvers. But I, I had greatly improved my ability to hover this plane doing that. So I thought I would pass this information on to you. So I think that if we, I want to show you this video and you'll see a couple of times where I hover the plane and I'm able to maintain the altitude pretty well, you know, pulsing the throttle that way. And I'm able to use the ailerons to rotate the plane around the axis and it's pretty stable the whole time. I was really, I was really, you know, excited finally being, a, being able to do that. Now, I'm still not comfortable hovering it at a low altitude. So it's at a pretty high altitude in case I screw up. I've, I've got plenty of room and, and altitude to catch it if I really screw up. But as I get better and better with the throttle management, I'll be able to, to hover this at a much, much lower altitude. But anyway, I wanted you to see this, and I wanted to give you that tip on performing a hover because it made it so much easier for me to be able to do it that way. So anyway, I'll see you out at the field. We'll put it in the air, and um, I'll, I'll show you. You'll see a couple of uh, pretty long hovers with it and being able to rotate and pivot around that vertical axis. So see you out there launching. Oh yeah, we got it. Doesn't that look graceful in the air?
<laughs> it's just awesome. I'm getting a little bit better at hovering. Until I'm not. Until I land on the truck. <laughs> that is so darn cool. <laughs> it is just so graceful. Let's try something else here. Well, that didn't work out. With a dry flat spin with it once. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of this little 3D trainer? I am having a blast and I am a 3D novice. That is so cool. So darn graceful. Hey, isn't that awesome? Look, look at how graceful that is. That is seriously graceful. Absolutely fantastic. And it's getting pretty breezy out here right now. Look how it maintains its line. I know I've said that before, but this fine gyro is absolutely awesome. And wind mitigation mode, and that's how I like to land it too. It uh, it wants to, in in full stabilization mode, it really wants to put it in, to keep it in that high alpha, and so it's easier for me to land it in wind mitigation mode that it is uh, full stabilization mode but that is just that is so graceful I have to keep I have to keep reminding myself to get out of the throttle because these 3d planes they don't like to they don't like to fly fast they like to fly slow and they don't, they like to maneuver slowly look at that I don't think we've tried a stall turn yet, have we? Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And the amount of flight time, I have my timer set for um, eight minutes. And when I land, I typically have 
about uh, 3.75 to 3.78 volts per cell in it. So um, I know I've stated before, you get a good 10 minute flight out of this. You can land when you need to. But that is just absolutely, isn't that cool? That is absolutely awesome, guys. And there's some wind up there. I'm, I've definitely improved my hovering skills. So now it'll be time to work on some other things. But I really wanted to get to the point where I could hover halfway decent. <laughs> it, just, it could do that all day long. <laughs> that is so awesome. Very graceful in the air. Very graceful in the air when I don't get too fast with it. And I love the power that this has. Look at that. Come out of that loop very, very slowly. I think I'm always going to have a 3D plane in my hangar from now on. I mean, I'm going to have at least one. Because these things are just absolutely awesome. And you can fly them in such a small area because they're so darn maneuverable. But that, that is absolutely cool, isn't it? Absolutely cool. <laughs> 3D planes definitely defy gravity. That is so cool. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm about to get my alarm. So let's get ready. There we go. Let's get ready to land over here. Oh, uh, we got well we're clear. I am just having an absolute blast with this plane. I got seven battery packs that will work in it. And uh, this is my seventh pack during this flight session. Got a bit of a crosswind. There we go. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the air.